And a very good afternoon. Welcome along to the show. It's Sunny and Shay on BBC WM 95.6. Today we're out of the studio. Uh, we are live from Litchfield and we're celebrating Staffordshire Day. So I feel like everyone who's listening should know that we're, we're surrounded by quite a lot of people today. Really actually. important people as yes. well. I mean, they even yes. know the Queen. I know. So that's how important the people are sitting with us right now. They've shook hands with the Queen. Yes. I, I think they're We've got to ask them. We will ask, ask them, them that. Um, we're celebrating all that is great about this county today. So in the first hour of the show we are going to be focusing on our host today the Litchfield and Hatherton uh, Canal Trust are they here are you already are here? here yay yes they are okay that's just two people uh, uh, there, there you go everyone there's, else got there's shy a bit, there's a big team uh, they're working to restore the waterways throughout the city and so we I'm really chuffed about this we're going to be meeting with some of the people including some of the young people uh, who are very much working hard Afternoons with Sunny and Shay on BBC WM 95.6. Radio for the West Midlands. Got Peter Buck and also Tony Cadwalder from Litchfield and Hatherton uh, Canal Restoration Trust, which is where we're literally we're sat. Right, in the, right in the beginning of Absolutely. it, yes. Absolutely, we yeah. are sat just alongside the canal. Let's let's find out from Peter firstly. He's got full knowledge about the canal's history, yep. both the ancient and modern as well. Peter, thanks for uh, having us here. Thank you. Um, and so, uh, with this now uh, being 2018, how 19, can 19. sorry 2019? <laughs> how can the become a lifeline again i mean there's if their business can use these canals it might be even quicker or faster than using the motorways uh it won't be faster because you only travel at four miles an hour right, the, the speed limit doesn't change the speed limit doesn't change no that's a shame uh, but we we uh, really the use of canals nowadays is is much more for for leisure for, for people to enjoy, for the community. And we we know that the towpath, the Heritage Towpath Trail that we've opened uh, along this section, it's seven miles long, this link, section of canal, and uh, we're progressively open more and more sections of the Heritage Towpath Trail for the community to use, to walk. And we're also at the same time trying to put sections into water so that the wildlife and the biodiversity can improve as well. Now, Tony, um, you alongside many of your roles um, with the trust are also a very good carpenter I've been told by the team and you actually made the cabin for the mock-up narrowboat on Tamworth Road how important has it been for you to be involved with this whole project well after I retired the problem I'd got was finding something useful to do because <laughs> I'd spent the last 20 years sitting behind a computer <laughs> not getting enough exercise I, I, I'm, I'm almost 75 now and I haven't got any aches and pains and I thought well this isn't right <laughs> so I thought I'd better get out and do some hard work so <laughs> I've come down here and volunteered and uh, I quite enjoy the camaraderie and it's uh, good fun meeting the, uh, the the people who walk past and admire what we've been doing. You get to play with all the Tonka toys, like <laughs> dumper trucks and excavators and road rollers and chainsaws. It's great fun. Afternoons with Sunny and Shay on BBC WM 95.6. Radio for the West Midlands. I make them um, up as I go along. Now, if you're tuning into the show, Sunny <laughs> and Shay, today we are based on, we're specifically, so right now we're on Tamworth Road in Litchfield. Um, we very much are celebrating Staffordshire Day. Yes, we are. And uh, we've been invited to this part of the canal um, by Litchfield and Hatherton Canal Restoration Trust. And we're joined now, we have Callum Huckfield from Queen's Croft School. They're, they're a state special school in Litchfield. And we've also got pupils, Aaron Lysette and Jamie Cotton, the school has actually been involved for the last three years with the restoration project. Nice. Um, and the school, the students have benefited from helping out. So let's find like, find out more with, with Callum. Callum, thanks firstly for coming down to see us today. How has it been being involved with the restoration project over the last couple of years? Yeah, it's been uh, fantastic. We were looking for some local community projects that we could be involved in for our Duke of Edinburgh, so the volunteering section. And three years ago, this was ideal, and we've just been carrying on ever since. So do you get your hands dirty and get involved as well? Very much so, and the uh, young people will, uh, will tell you that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, check his hands. See if you've got any calluses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, That's the way you tell. They are working men's hands. They are. I can um, you, definitely... No, you just said he moisturised. <laughs> 
you have to. There's nothing wrong with that. James, uh, what do you enjoy about you know the course itself, and how did this benefit you as well? Just coming out uh, out of the classroom and coming onto site. Well, I like being outside and getting the fresh air. It's quite nice. And I'm learning quite a bit on tool usage and how to stack bricks for one of the reasons we've been learning, stacking bricks and sorting them out. We've also done a bit of planting, which I benefited for as I like land base. Okay. So we would put um, saplings and plant them which was quite beneficial because I learned how to plant them correctly. And um, let's bring in Aaron on this as well, because Aaron, you've also recently been on the BBC Two TV show Britain in Bloom. It featured Litchfield in one of the episodes. Yeah. How important was it for you to be involved with that? Was that quite fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah really fun, because I'm with my friends and the teachers are there to support me and like stuff. But... It was really fun being there and, and helping Litchfield do all the stuff. We've been focusing a lot on this hour, finding out really about the restoration project for Litchfield and Hatton Canal Restoration Trust. And we're joined now, we've got Clive Coley, Curriculum Manager at the South Staffs College for Construction and Plumbing, alongside Scott Davis, bricklaying lecturer at the college. And we've also got um, John, college tutor, students, Jordan, no, no, no John, my apologies, Jordan uh, Chapman, Harry Dodd and also Harry. Rob as well. And Rob, Guys, Rob, yes. Pleasure to meet you all. Let's go to Clive first. Clive, um, how long has the college been involved with the actual restoration project? Uh, we started earlier this year um, for about the last five, six months, um, giving invaluable work experience to bricklayers and multi occupations and carpentry students. Um, about 120 students have come through and done some work on the, the canal and it's benefited them massively in regard to real life work experience. That's a big part of this, isn't it? It's all about hands on experience, Scott. And um, for yourself, you, you're here, you're with the students, you're getting that day to day feedback. What's it been like for you to see their development and growth? Uh, actually, sort of bringing them out on site for the first time, it was a bit of a culture shock to them mm -hmm. with sort of live plant machinery going on and real life situations. and we have to teach a hell of a lot about health and safety and it absolutely nailed that the, how important it is if we're bringing 10 students out we want to take 10 students home how they're going to look after each other as well really and with the help from Clive and Claire and everyone from the college really um, I'm really trying to push for us to be out here more instead of in a workshop because I've seen a vast improvement in my students from when I'm actually talking in the classroom, that can relate to what yeah. I'm going on. And that's it from us. Thanks again for joining us. We'll end on this Saturday.